company holiday party. They can get pretty wild and crazy in the movies. Ever see Office Christmas Party? And remember this conga line scene from TV's Mad Men? It sure showed how inappropriate behavior at the office holiday party was considered no big deal back in the 1960s. In those days, men weren't in real danger of losing their jobs when they crossed the line. Companies are more nervous than ever. Steven Viscusi is known as America's workplace guru and says there is a way to party professionally. Dress just like you would for work. Don't take any pictures you would not want the CEO of your company to see. And avoid subjects like politics. No Trump, no Weinstein talk at this holiday party. A national survey of businesses found 11% have decided to pass on the holiday party this year. That's nearly triple from last year. It also found that only 49% of companies plan to serve alcohol compared to 62% last year. I think that's ridiculous. If you can't trust your employees to drink at the holiday party, then you can't trust your employees. You have far greater workplace problems than just that holiday party. Many companies are choosing to throw parties at bowling alleys or karaoke lounges as a way to keep people busy with a physical activity other than just drinking and mingling. Experts also recommend serving lots of food to soak up the liquor. Cheers, my friend. Give us one more tip for the holiday season. Well, one thing for sure, no mistletoe at the holiday party this year.